Okay, welcome to the uh, last lesson in the basics module. So the next module is about falling and this is the last lesson of the basics uh, module. It's probably the most important lesson of the basics uh, module. It's about the, the three principles. So our techniques are based on three principles. Circle, flow and harmony and circle is usually what we do comes from a circle a circle is an easier way to generate power than just straightforward flow is about keeping your technique flowing if i might need one two three four stops all the time it gives my opponent more time to react if my technique flows it's difficult for my opponent to react harmony is quite a difficult one it's about creating a connection with your opponent is where you can control uh, his body his motion stuff like that and uh, we usually also tie this into what we call the the abc and the a is actually it's three a's and it has to do with distance and everything um the like if you're out and about the first a you need is awareness and awareness is not the same as paranoia but you kind of have to know where you are who you are with maybe what the dangers are of being in this place then if there actually is a danger or a potential danger you have to get alert if we tie this to the the distances as long as you're um, outside you know like distance number three so like you're like in a maximum safe distance all you need is awareness as soon as someone is like on the edge of your uh, minimum safe distance and is behaving aggressively this is where you have to be alert it usually means your hands go up uh, then when somebody actually attacks you have to get active some say maybe even aggressive but then you have three a's awareness alertness active uh, so there it has everything to do with position and what you want to be able to do is convert your position if i'm in a bad position i want to be able to move to a better position we saw that a little bit in the first or like in the previous uh, lesson i'm now in the attack line I want to move to the 45 degree but we also saw hey if I end up behind my opponent I'm in an even better position so <clears throat> the name of the first technique is John and Bob and John and is usually is like translated as being circle but it can also mean convert so for me it is about converting my bad position to a good one uh, then with that we get flow and flow is about balance i want to break my opponent's balance i want to keep my own balance yeah i want to disturb the flow of the opponent i want to keep my own flow then it also when it comes to balance it also has everything to do with body structure like in my offensive stance i want a strong <clears throat> body structure it's like a stable this is not a good body structure this is we'll go into like what a good body structure is and stuff like that a lot more in uh, other modules but this is all you have to know right now then it comes to harmony harmony is something that's in your heart but harmony is also about um, i have to move my if my body goes like one does not no it has to move as one unity it has to move in harmony so when Hangido was developed, there were three basic uh, techniques that students had to learn and they still have to learn today. It's the, the circle steps, the flow steps, and the harmony steps. And in Korean, it's Chonan Bob, Young Yu Bob, Shima Bob. Most important uh, one is Chonan Bob, so the first one. So let's start with that one first. I'm starting, in this case, left foot behind my hands my body this is not a very good position to be in 
I want my hands forward. But for basics, and you'll soon see why, this is why this is necessary. A weight distributed about 50-50 on it. So I'm not leaning back, I'm not leaning forward, 50-50. Then I step forward, hands up, triangle here. Rotate me more with my hip until I'm looking back. And now I move back and my hands go down again. So, step forward, hands go up, turn, step back, down. One, two, three, one, two, three. Let me show it from the front. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, three things that often go wrong. One, too straight up. Or too much focus just on the arms. It's like one, two. No, focus should primarily be on the legs. So make sure that you step. Keep both feet active. But if people only step, what we get is like step, 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 step. Now we want that circular motion. That's why it's step, turn, step, step, turn, step. And then the third thing is about your front foot. One, two, if I'm doing one, two, and I'm leaving my foot like this and I'm turning my body in that direction, it's bad for the inside of my knee. So my foot goes inside. One, two, one, two. Shoulders low, relaxed. And if you remember, when I say shoulders low, I mean elbows low. So don't, one, two, shoulders low, one, two, three, four. Uh, hands closed, open, closed. It's like as if you're grabbing someone and then pulling him down. Grab, pull, grab, pull, grab, pull. Yeah, so this is John and Bob, the circle technique. Um, this is a technique you should do like well, maybe start with 10 when you're learning it, but should be no problem doing like 100 in a row. And one is one, back, two, and back. And you should have no problem doing 100. It should be easy for you. So that's how much you should actually practice it. The next one, Young Bob, or the flow steps. Standing again, same position with my legs. Front hand in front, open. My other hand in my side. Okay, pulling this one back, that one goes forward. One. But while I do that, I step down and step through. So, forward, step, forward, step. Let me show it like this. One. Two, one, two, one, two. And again, you should have no problem doing this a hundred times or maybe even a couple hundred times in a row. What's important is when this one goes in, so until here is like your hip throw, but when your hand goes out, one. So there has to be like a match. One, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. So that is Young Yubo. Last one, harmony steps, Shima Bo. Uh, let me build it up. So with students, he's like the first one. Forward, forward, step, back. Forward, step and turn back, forward, step, back, 
forward, step, back. But I want when I'm going forward, forward. So with a little slide step, in and back. One, back. One, back. One, back. And of course, the slide step, exactly as we learned it in the previous lesson. One, two. So, one, two. One, two. Right. One, two. Three, four. Explosive. One, two, three. What is it? Usually when people go like, one, circle, go. Circle, go. So you go and make like an outside circle, return. Active feet. Active feet. Active feet. So there you have it. Chonan Bob, Yongi Bob, Shima Bob. The three basic uh, Hangyo steps tied into the principles of, of Hangyo circle, flow, and harmony. Um, yeah, I cannot tell you like how important it is to practice these techniques over and over again. These steps, you will see them in a lot of techniques like returning, returning, returning. So again, I said in the previous lesson, might be quite boring. Oh, just step, just step. What's that? If you cannot control the distance, if you cannot control the position, eh, you're on the lower hand. You want to be on the upper hand. You want to be the guy or girl who controls the distance and who controls the position. And techniques like this are very, very important to learn how to do that. Okay, so this is the end of this module, the basics module. The next module is about falling. So I'm looking forward to seeing you there.